I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question from my subscriber and I hope its solution will help many others. Now this question is on coplanar vectors. We'll first try to understand the concept of coplanar vectors and then take up this example which has been posted by our subscriber. Determine if vectors 2, 4, minus 1, 8, minus 10, 5 and 5, minus 3, 2 are coplanar. Now, what do we understand by coplanar vectors? Let's understand the term coplanar first. So, coplanar means in the same plane, right? So, coplanar means in the same plane. Now, let us say that these three vectors are coplanar. Let us say, let's assume, right? So, and then if they are coplanar, let me say that they all, the three of them, could be represented on this plane. That's a plane of this paper, okay? So, so we normally give the name of a plane by pi. That's the name, which is very commonly used for naming planes. Now, let me draw the three vectors here. Let's say one vector is kind of like this, right? The other vector is kind of like this. And let me draw the third vector in a different ink. Let's say the third vector is kind of like this. Well, I'm purposely drawing them with the tails at a common point. You can always, uh, you know, place the vectors anyway. And that is how you could always place them in the same plane, right? Now, see what happens when I do cross product of these vectors. Let's call them by the name u, v, and and w. Let's see, these are the three vectors. Now, if I do u cross v, in that case, what will happen is that I will get a vector which is perpendicular to both of them, right? So, and be like pointing outside or inside. So, we'll assume that we are doing like this and like screw over. So, v cross u I could, should have written, but anyway. Think as if it is going upwards. Is that okay? Right. So instead of, let, let's be very specific. So if I, I will say, I'll say V cross U. Okay. So in that case, the vector will be pointing outside. And let's call this normal N. Right. So we'll say this is represented by vector N. And this vector is going to be normal to both these vectors. It is normal to the plane pi. Right. So N which is normal to plane pi. So if it is normal to the plane pi, it is normal to each and every vector on this particular plane. Is that clear? Now we say if this vector w is coplanar, then the dot product of w and n should be zero, right? Since Normal vector is normal to the whole plane. It is normal to W also, right? So we know cos 90 degrees is zero. So, so the dot product between W and N should be zero. Is that correct? Right, so what we did effectively is that we found scalar triple product. So we basically found the cross product of V and U and then dot product with the third vector. Is it okay? And if that is equal to zero, then we say that the vectors are, are coplanar. Correct? So that becomes a condition for any three vectors to be coplanar. Is that clear? Perfect. So I will call this as one way of doing it. So let me say this is case one. Okay, this is case one for us. Case two, which I'll also discuss in this particular video, is that, uh, uh, let me write down case two. Okay, case two is that in case 
they all are coplanar, then I could write one vector as a combination of other two, right? So, for example, I could represent vector v as combination of these two, correct? Making a parallelogram. So, if I choose to uh, represent v as a combination of these two, one way could be like this. Let me show you here. So, if I draw a vector parallel to this, kind of like this, is it okay? In that case, scalar multiple of w and scalar multiple of u could be equal to v, right? So, I could represent vector v as combination of these two. That is to say, a times, this becomes scalar multiple of w plus b times scalar multiple of u. You get an idea, right? So, that is a linear combination. So, this is another way of showing that the three vectors are coplanar. Perfect. So, that is how you could actually explain about the coplanar vectors. Correct? Now, in this space, I will do the first part, which is we'll find the scalar triple product of these vectors. And then, uh, in the next page, in the same video, of course, I will show you how we can write one vector as a combination of other two. Correct? So, let's do the triple product. So, we can do all of these three things together. Uh, so, we'll write this as 2, 4, minus 1 times, so we'll do dot product with this of cross product with 8 minus 10, 5 and 5 minus 3, 2. Correct? So, I'll use this space to uh, calculate. So, it is 2 times minus 10 times 2, which is minus 20, minus this, that is plus 15, minus 4 times, 8 times 2 is 16, 5 times 5 is 25, minus 25, and then we have a minus, let me write minus, 1 time, 8 times 3 is 24, which is a negative sign here, and minus of this gives me positive 50, correct? Okay. So, so, if you calculate, you get 2 times uh, minus 5, and here you get minus 4 times 9, right, negative 9, okay, and this is uh, minus uh, 20, this is minus 26, correct, and that gives you minus 10, and that is minus minus is plus 36, and this is minus 26, and that is indeed 0. Since scalar triple product is 0, correct, we can write that these vectors are coplanar, right? So, that means since we got that uh, scalar triple product, is 0, right? And that means they are coplanar. Is that okay? So, that is very important. Now, we know they are coplanar. But now, it's a good idea to write one vector in the as a sum of other two, rather linear combination, right? So, let's look into that part now. So, in this case, again, I've copied the same question. I will write one as a linear combination of others. Okay. So, you could use any one of these methods. You don't have to do both, but I'm not sure which one has been taught to you, right? So, do the one which is uh, um, better for you, correct? So, linear combination really means that we have to write one vector as a combination of other two. So, we let's write 5 minus 3, 2 as a combination of these two vectors. Let's say P times 2 4 minus 1 plus q times, let's say, 8 minus 10, 5, correct? So, so if, if you expand, you could now relate the directions, direction numbers A, B, and C for each, right? So, we could write, we get three equations from here. One is 5 equals to 2P plus 8Q minus 3 equals to 4p 
minus 10 q and 2 equals to minus p and here we get uh, 5 q perfect okay now from the last equation i could write p as equal to i could write p as equal to if i bring p this time it is 5 p minus 2 perfect so i have related one in terms of the other p as equals to 5 p minus 2 so I could substitute in one of our equations. Let me call these equations as equation 1, 2, and 3. Okay. And this is my equation 4. So I'm substituting P equals to 5, I mean 5Q. I mean, uh, what did I do? Okay, so it is Q, not P, right? 5Q, okay. So I'm substituting P equals to 5Q minus 2 in one of our equations. Let me do it in, in 2, in 1. Okay, so 4 in 1. So we are substituting this value here and then we'll find what, what Q is. So we have this equation as 5 equals to 2 times P. So instead of P, I'm writing 5Q minus 2 plus 8Q. So that gives me 5 equals to 10q minus 4 plus 8q or bringing this 4 to this side we get 5 plus 4 equals to 10 plus 8 which is 18q or 9 divided by 18 is q so we get q value is half okay so if q is half what is p equals to let's calculate so p is equals to uh, 5 times 5 times q which is half minus 2 and that gives you uh, <clears throat> let's take common denominator of 2 right so we have 5 minus 4 which is also half so p is also half right so so we get p equals to q equals to half in our case uh, let us check so let's check with the third equation which we didn't use so far correct so let's check if it is really true for the third position also or not right rather in this case minus 3 is the second position right okay so let's check so what we have here is minus 3 on the left side on the right side we have 4 times p is half and we have minus 10 times half now that truly gives you uh, 2 minus 5 which is minus 3 so left side equals to right side so it works perfect and therefore we can say that our vector 5 minus 3 2 could be written as a linear combination of other two as half times 2 4 minus 1 plus half times 8 minus 10 5 does make sense to you since you can do it that means all the three vectors are coplanar do you get an idea right so that is how we could show that these three vectors are coplanar so i hope that makes sense feel free to write your comments and suggestions if you like and subscribe my videos that'd be great thank you and all the best